So let's talk about some of the frequently asked questions around laser hair removal. My name is Caroline Hooper, Certified Laser Specialist Trainer and I'm also Clinical Director of a chain of clinics in Dublin. If you're a doctor, nurse, beautician or somebody looking to get into the aesthetic industry, you should consider downloading your free training module on laser hair removal in the description below this video, which I've provided for you completely free. Welcome back to another tutorial or if you're new, please subscribe. Laser Boss community where we upload two to three educational videos each week based on the aesthetic industry and I'm proud to say that this video is sponsored by ClickFunnels, your online software for web, blogs and sales funnel needs. Make sure to check out your free 14 day trial in the link in the description below this video. Laser hair removal is a permanent would be a very popular one. Is a permanent, yes it is permanent but it would be unrealistic to think that you would have a permanent reduction for life it's not for life um, because it can be affected by hormones and because we can't control hormones we can't control the result of your laser your initial course of laser being long-term life permanent uh, result so for the likes of women there'd be about 10 to 20 percent of women um, females who would suffer with a hormonal condition called PCOS which is polycystic ovary syndrome and it's hormonally driven where you get excess hair also known as herticism. So for the likes of these people um, you're going to need more follow-on treatments or more maintenance on an, ongoing, um, on an ongoing manner in order to achieve or maintain a permanent effect on the area. And then there's the likes of men who um, have hormones such as testosterone and androgenic hormones which again is going to produce more hair so initially on a course of treatment men need more treatments because it's uh, hormonal testosterone driven and um, androgenic hormones as well so for the likes of men they, the hair may reoccur on the area that bit more frequently than a woman um, so more follow-on treatments would be required there but I mean generally you're looking at a long-term stable reduction uh, of permanent reduction in the area after undergoing a course of treatment once you've achieved your initial 90% reduction. After that, I mean worst case, you're probably looking at two treatments per year. Per year. Uh, some people don't need to have any treatments done for, they could get three years, so it really just depends on the individual themselves and if it's hormonally driven in the background producing any new hairs. But once you kill hairs in an active stage of growth, they are permanently removed. If anything is going to grow up in the future, what you're looking at is dormant hairs that aren't active under your initial course of treatments. Uh, we've in fact got the same amount of hairs as a chimpanzee and at any given time they can be stimulated through what we said hormones, uh, through stress, through menopause, through pregnancy, through certain diets, certain medications. So because we can't control all this for life, we can of course be dealing with hair in the future and having to maintain hair later on. 